All right, so I believe I finished uploading my thingy to, yep. So YouTube is already processing my last video, which was actually a lot longer than I uh, had anticipated, but I went over a lot of really important stuff, not directly related to Cardano Lucky Cap, but more cryptocurrencies in general, and again, big picture stuff. So I'm still reeling from the fact that there's just no lobbying on behalf of crypto. It's it, it's so much, it's like, it, it's insane. Uh, it, it's actually quite insane. But anyway, I will uh, I will deal with it in due time. So with that being said, uh, I want to try and keep this video short because I already did all my rambles in the previous two videos. So... I don't plan, even though I have a, obviously I have a very large presence on Polygon, simply because of Sphere, uh, but with that being said, I don't know, I mean I already have a lot of windows open, uh, now that I'm doing this video, how much is this? So I believe this is about the same amount in dollar value, I gotta refresh this, so right now I think cryptocurrency are catching a very small bid so okay good it's actually go please go back to 41,000 because I'm getting really sick and tired of this price manipulation negative price oppression I should say of cryptocurrencies this is a dollar 41 so this is about the same I don't feel like doing the math but this is about the same dollar amount as phantom maybe it's actually a little more than that yeah it's actually a little more than phantom so so yeah, it's like I already have a. I wouldn't say this is a, a a high risk, just like Phantom, but it's really not that much better. But on the other hand, I mean, it looks it looks okay. So you want to do the Polygon version of Lucky Cat? I mean, and you happen to actually like Polygon? Yeah, this could, this could probably be for you too. For me, I already have a lot of projects open, and I already have enough Lucky Cats. I feel like because again, my preferred chain home chain is actually Binance Smart Chain. That's still my favorite number one go to that's my home base right you know sim he likes polygon so that's his home base that's why sphere is on polygon and he, didn't, and he didn't choose a bad chain you know polygon overall is pretty good it does suck when it goes down and like it has problems and then i get very mad but aside from that it's basically the same thing as binance smart chain right the thing is binance smart chain is just such so much larger in terms of dollar value right that's just where way more money is and number two it's not run by the west that's another big thing it's run by sheng zhao pao right cz right from the guy who made binance right he's a good guy i right, know no man is good no one is good blah, blah blah but all right nice guy uh he doesn't care about the money he just likes the game so that makes it even better because now he actually can think look look and analyze things and do things based on logic and what's good for everyone and not, you know, you know, hey, I need all the money in the world, he 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 he, right? And then number three, uh, he, he's Chinese, right? Specifically Asian or Chinese. So that makes it even better, right? Because anything that gets away from the fucking degenerate evil CIA and Western powers, America, Europe, Australia, uh, whatever, right? Uh, that's a good thing, right? Because look look at what the West is trying to do to cryptocurrencies. Yeah, China also doesn't like Bitcoin, but that's because they, they, they just don't understand it. So whatever, right? Look at what the West is trying to do. They're actively trying to destroy cryptocurrencies. So anything that takes away their power will also reduce their, their negative influence on cryptocurrencies, right? Like I might have said in the last video, yeah, I did say in the last video, Bitcoin is supposed to be 100,000, 120,000 right now. But it's not because it's being subjected to constant price pressure by JP Morgan, central banks, and all the, and these other super predator Wall Street F words, right? They're doing exactly to crypto what they do to gold and silver all effing day. It's very evil, all right? It's the same thing with central banks. Why, why is the interest rate so low? Because they're stealing wealth from you, right? You get nothing on your savings account. Then, and then at the same time, this is what's happening to the value of the U.S. dollar, along with all your cryptocurrency, uh, along with all your fiat. So if you're, you have the euro, if you have the Australian dollar, you have the Canadian dollar, whatever the hell it is, they're doing the same exact shit here. I don't even need to, ch I mean, I guess I could check, but I don't want this video to go too long. This is how they fuck you over, right? Cryptocurrencies can solve all that, which is why they're actively trying to destroy it. 
And it's just very frustrating. And then, of course, in the last video, I get a little outraged that Coinbase doesn't do shit for lobbying. So, yeah, now I, now I understand a lot more the total picture of why we're getting fucked in the ass without our permission and without Vaseline, all right, with a spiked dildo, all right? It's not cool, all right? It's not cool. All right, anyway, else I'm about to go on a rambling, ranting, rave thing again. I really do like doing it, but I do want this video to be very short, so... Check out Polygon, uh, Lucky Cat. It's the same thing. 8% daily APR, 1% dev fee. It is, I still think it's a little low. So it's better than Phantom, I guess, in, in terms of TVL, purely from that perspective. But me personally, I'll just stick with Phantom because I already put some a, a moderate bag in there, right? So it's like, yeah, fine, whatever. Ah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, if I could do it again and I knew more about Lucky Cat, I obviously would have put that moderate bag in this instead of Phantom. Because, you know, but whatever. I mean, Phantom's doing okay. So we'll see. Let me see. Did it? Did anyone draw? Or, yeah. Yeah, it's still the same number. So and that's the other thing, too. I kind of wish they did better marketing. Because right now, they're, uh, the Lucky Cat Twitter is mostly just concentrating on BNB. Uh, at least he's still active on Twitter. So that's good. It's only been a couple of days though. And uh, Vice President Manhattan GOP or Hood District Leader 74 AD Gamer. Yeah, 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 I don't really care because what do you? Uh, what does the fucking Republican Party do except steal all our fucking money? Democrats are the same way too, but they're a little better than the Republicans in that regard, probably. TVL. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. I mean, they're just very lazy with the marketing, so it's like, eh. Uh, well, at least he's trying to do this, so, okay, and, um, I'm actually gonna start, eventually when I have enough of a bag, I'm actually gonna start p pumping money into baked beans, for sure, because it's actually on my playlist, right, I added that to the playlist, even though I don't have anything invested right now, but it's definitely something that I will be doing, I just don't know when yet, all right, God will just let me know when. Uh, I actually put, I actually took a little bit of Sphere today, right? I put in the Binance Dollar Lucky Cat because I want this because now I'm actually looking a little bit for stability because of this. But it did occur to me that when cryptocurrencies rebound and right now Binance Coin is doing very well, it's at 420. I actually would want you know more Binance coins. The thing is, I already have a position in Binance Coin Lucky Cat, right? I already did the video on that, and I actually added that to my playlist. All right. Actually, I'm just curious. Okay. I do wish I could turn off autoplay, so, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let me just see. Does this work? Playlist. No, oh. they told me to F off. Okay. So, anyway, it is on my playlist here. Uh, 130 views updated today. Yeah, I actually, I forgot. I removed something, I think. I think I removed in sickness Finance. That's what I did. Uh, where are you? Yeah, it's the first one I did. So, this is here. So, uh, so I've been I've been trying to figure out if I want to remove this or keep it here, like and bounce back and forth. So for now, I'm gonna leave it here, right? Phantom Lucky Cat. So uh, let me see, let me see. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, before we end this, is there anything important? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think here. Eh, I don't know. It feels like today is a Friday, but it's actually just Wednesday. So, yeah. And I actually have stuff to do this weekend as well. So, well, that's okay. Um, I don't know. We've been pumping out a lot of videos, so I could wait until tomorrow to do hybrid finance. But, I mean, I'll just show you in case you want to do it. Oh, my God. It's going to screw up the YouTube. Uh, well, I mean, my YouTube channel is going to show all the same looking thumbnail anyway, so... I don't know, but, uh, all right, you know what, yeah, you know what, I will wait till tomorrow to do hybrid finance, I, I don't really care, because I don't, I don't care about, believe it or not, I actually do not care about any more of these titano forks, right, simply because, simply because Sphere is literally dominating the entire space, so there's no point in investing in anything else, that's actually, I'm actually thinking that's probably why a lot of Titano forks, like Caesar especially, and even High Point to a lesser degree, are all dumping. 
All right, they're only they're only going to they're only going to a few places. A little bit of Seifu, a little bit of Titano, Web three, and Sphere. That's it. Everywhere else is just going nowhere else. So what's the point of creating all these shitty forks? So I still have my Caesar position, but you know, I don't want to say how much I sold. But I did sub sell like a, a a pretty big stack of Caesar, even though I kind of didn't want to. But I felt I kind of had to because because like if Sphere keeps going up, which of course it will, that's gonna put even more pressure on like shitty Titano forks, right? And Caesar. And here's the other thing too, and I'll end the video. Caesar really did not acknowledge me that much. All right, I, and it's not because of an ego, and I don't like it, but I've noticed that people, because I'm pretty sure I'm considered a big deal now. So if you don't actually acknowledge me and you're the dev, that tells me you don't have a marketing plan, you're an idiot, and three, you, you just don't you just don't know who's, who the big players are in this space. It would be like Jesse Echo coming into Caesar, and then they, they, the devs just ignore him. It's like, how, how retarded are you? It's like, that's a bad sign. That probably means... Oh, this guy doesn't know. These devs don't know what the fuck they're doing. It's like to dump all the tokens. So going forward, I'll actually be using that kind of methodology, all right? And I'm gonna actually start attacking projects that don't acknowledge my presence in the Discord, because you know, and I don't require much, but I do need some recognition, all right? Because I'm getting kind of sick and tired of investing in shitty projects, all right? And they don't recognize my presence. Right. At least if you recognize my presence and then your project goes down, well, no hard feelings, because at least you gave it. At least you gave it your best shot. Right. So. So yeah. But whatever. And that's why I need all of you to like, subscribe, share, etc. Right. Because this actually helps you and me figure out. Hey, do I want to put our our money in this? Oh, hey, they didn't show Johnson Chan the respect he deserves. So that's probably a bad sign. You know. And to a lesser degree, that's what happened with High Point. I didn't get the respect I felt I deserved, right? They also kept deleting my fucking links for the YouTube video, talking about them, uh, and then fucking yeah, now High Point's down. So I'm I'm actually kind of annoyed by that too. So it, and I mean, I mean, at least the the mods do really well in High Point, but it's like. Would, would you be if you were running High Point? Would you be stupid enough to delete Jesse Eccles' links? You know how fuck it, it's like. How, it's like I'm just so sick and tired of this shit. I'm just so sick and tired of like incompetence. And then your fucking project goes to shit, and then we all lose money. I mean, I didn't lose any money because I'm making a shit ton still. Well, shit ton. I don't want to make sure I don't accidentally say a thing, but I could have made a lot more. All right, I could have made a lot more. Well, that's just how it goes, so what, what What? fucking ever. Anyway, check out Polygon, Lucky Catmatic, and uh, I will not personally be investing in this, but I think it probably is a little safer than Phantom. But again, with all these Lucky Cats, sustainability is going to be the main thing that we're going to be looking at. So again, Binance Dollar Lucky Cat, Binance Coin, BNB, Lucky Cat, uh, definitely seem to be pretty good. And I think Milko Media, I keep calling Media, but Milko Media, Cardano, Lucky Cat, I think that would also be okay, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. As long as the contract thing keeps growing and growing and growing, you know, then the, the project will sustain itself. And, uh, do I have to try to snipe this again? Shit. What is going on here? All right, let's do this. Okay, let me just manage this real quick. Man, this is really active right now. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I will see you all tomorrow because I've been rambling for almost an hour plus and doing videos. And I was supposed to do four today, but we'll do three. So I'll leave it at this. I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll do hybrid finance and bay finance. And then I have to actually look into another minor project called diamondmine.money. Uh, I wrote in a note that it says it's a new minor project and it could be a scam. So I have to actually check. The, I have to check into that. I have to check into that. Um, and then I kind of want to take a day off. I might actually take a few days off. So I don't know. And yeah, just such, start suggesting more projects in the YouTube comments. I actually will look at it. Uh, the problem is make sure it shows up on the uh, what the fork X Y Z website or the Tune Fork version or the you know. Uh, just, just, because I need something, I need something, I need to, and also make sure you spell it correctly, because someone suggested Haruno, 
All right, and it doesn't show up here. So either it doesn't exist or you spelt it wrong. And I'm not going to waste time trying to like figure out the whatever, especially because it's a titano fork or really any other fork. I just don't care anymore because look, the AAA comp uh, cryptos, Sphere, Titano, Web3, and Seifu, there are specific reasons why they're all the way, they're taking all the money and everyone else is going down. It's like, yeah, I, I don't want to deal with it either, you know, all right? You know, like you're better off with things like minor projects. These are literally just stupid, but they're ultra simple and there's no bullshit. That's why the money is pouring into this, right? And there's zero taxes essentially, or at least it doesn't feel like a tax when you withdraw. So what's the point? And it pays a better APR by far. So why would you waste money on like a shitty Titano fork that pays you shitty APR, has taxes, and the price action it goes down 80, 90 percent, like Aiden Sickness Finance did. Right? Caesar dropped like 50, 60 percent. So what's the point? High point is already down like what, 70 percent from its all-time high. So it's like you know what? This it's just like f this, right? Just f this. Like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, let's keep growing the channel because especially now, I actually need your help far more than ever because, again, we need... I actually want to start throwing... I want to start developing some po real political power so that I can start lobbying on behalf of cryptocurrencies and then when that happens, you know, I can have a significant impact on this, you know? Because on one hand, I'm upset that Coinbase doesn't do shit, right? Because Open Secret said they only donate like 58 grand, 58.8 grand despite being ultra rich and they haven't done anything since then that actually opens up the opportunity for someone like me to you know do whatever and in fact if i have that much prestige i could probably do fundraising too so if i could fundraise like half a million bucks all right give a good speech blah blah, blah all right and i get all the rich donor people mostly probably christians and cryptocurrency types well, then I can, you know, start donating to, like, po more politicians, right? You know, it's a money-making legal scam, basically, right? Though I don't think of it as a scam. It's just, like, you know, it's political activism. It's, like, you know, it's kind of, an it's like, and I'm, like, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but, you know, we, we, you know, am I more annoyed that Bitcoin is this low, or am I going to be more annoyed when Bitcoin's at 200 grand? I mean, at that point... I think it's a no-brainer for me and you, right? It's like, okay, fine. You know, God God is guiding me. I can now begin to see what's actually, you know, in store for me that God has me going. So it's going to be pretty nice. It's going to be pretty nice. We just got to be patient. You know, I got to do the work. You got to do the work, all right? Because I can't do this without any of you. So if all you are lazy and don't pay attention, then, I mean, we're going to make a lot less money, all right? And that could... And for you, that can mean the difference between paying rent and being homeless, all right? Or sending your kids to college or sending them to a shitty college. Actually, you should send them – first of all, you should not send them to college. But if you did, send them to a shitty college because right now college is a scam. So the less money you waste on college, the better for you. And specifically for your kids, but whatever. I really, I really just want to ramble all day. So maybe I should do like an AMA someday, you know. And then we all I do is just ramble. But yeah, there has to be a reason why I would do it. All right? so, I don't know. Whatever. My God, it's almost 19 minutes. All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll do something a little more traditional. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely on board with the these minor projects, even if they're all probably <laughs> scams. So, but they work pretty well, and even uh, sustainability. Like, this is a pretty crazy rate of return. The sustainability still seems okay. So, th this is great. This is great. You know, these, these are better than Tomb Forks and Titano Forks by far. That's the crazy part. I mean, look at this. Look at this. All right, you compare this. Oh, I do have to change the AVAX. Hold on a second. If you compare, if you compare this to Tomb Forks and... Where are you? To Tomb Forks and... To, to uh, Titano Forks. When I did the video on Ruby Mine a couple days ago, or what, or whenever the hell I did, the AVAX contract was so much smaller. Now, look at this. Look how fast this thing is growing. Look at this site. It doesn't have anything. It's a shitty one-page website, and it's already outperforming everyone else. I don't understand. Like, 
This is why I constantly look for new projects, because this is how you win in life. Well, you win in life by going back to God and forgiving your mom and dad in person, preferably, but... All right? Like, it all ultimately ties together. Admit that you're wrong. Just see things for the way they are. Oh, it's a shitty project. I gotta dump it, all right? You know, no emotion or whatever. And then, oh, this one's doing much better. Okay, I guess I'll try this project out. And just keep trying new things, exploring. All right, it's just like Star Trek, the series finale of Next Generation, right? Ex the exploration of space is cool, but so is the exploration of unknown possibilities of existence. Because this is how you win. All right, I didn't have shit. How did I go from nearly bankrupting myself, investing almost all my money into Metaverse Pro, and then coming back? There's only one way that I know of that works, all right? And I'm teaching you it. So, yeah. All right, anyway, I'm done rambling. Make my channel grow, uh, grow because if you're a selfish asshole and you don't help me grow, you're hurting all of us, and that's not cool. So, and also, you make a lot less money, ultimately. So, kind of help, help, help us out, you know? Help me out. All right, thanks. Now, you can go away because I got I to exercise. I'm only half kidding. I love you all. All right, goodbye.